Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, and um, the plan for today is to do a video announcing the winner of the giveaway that we did. That was long awaited, wasn't it, <laughs> for Mother's Day? Oh, okay. I'm going to go in. I've got the kettle on, so that's probably what you can hear. And I'm going to go down a hillside. You want to come down a hillside with Mummy, don't you? Because I have something to look look for for somebody that I said um, I would look out and see if I have. So I want to go down there anyway. Um, and Emma Jane then wants to come down and see the push chairs, <laughs> the prams. Um, and I want to have a little chat. I'm feeling a little bit deflated. I had in my mind that I was like going to do this video today and I was all really hyped. And then I get a message on um, Instagram from a subscriber and I feel a little bit deflated. Um, so the first part of the video will be me being deflated. <laughs> well, I, but I want to talk about it right now because I, this is what I was going to do anyway um, today, not talk about what I'm going to talk about now, but this is what I was going to do today was film this. So I've got like a few hours this afternoon of having our alarm serviced to get the video up. Um, so I'm going to go and make a coffee. First things first. First things first. At all, what did I get that out for? Dumplings. I'll <laughs> make your dumplings later. Oh. I think I have said, no. Those of you who have known me and have been here a long time know that I suffer really bad with anxiety. And so for anybody that's new, you might think, oh, but you go out, you take your rebounds out. You do things that I don't want to do. Actually, I'm going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> don't think I need to be any more wired than I am at the moment. So, um, yeah, that might come across. But actually, I suffer with really bad anxiety. And I also suffer with bad anxiety in the home. So there are going to be some trigger warnings why I kind of explain this and why this these comments have upset me. Um, as a child, I live with the stepmom from hell, okay? Um, there's no other words for it. In the words of CID, I was tortured as a child. So when the police tell you that, you know it's pretty bad. And when the person that's perpetuated all of this, um, or people, I should say, their charges list was humongous. Um, that it is pretty horrendous. And when you read it like that, you just, when you read that and you hear that and you have the police talking to you and then you have various rape counsellors and abuse counsellors talking to you, um, you kind of realise that that poor little girl that was less than 15 um, all started right from a baby when I was first put into foster care. No, when I was left at six weeks old. I was left at six weeks old by my uh, birth mother. And then I was fostered in all sorts for a while. And I really find it hard to settle. Although, now, since we moved here, I feel much more relaxed. Get the tablet because we need to do coffee and a chat. Um, the giveaway, let's do that. Now, we need to take down the tube I'm, because I messed up on that giveaway. Sorry, this is another thing I do, I bounce around a bit, even though my thoughts are coherent. <laughs> I do bounce around a bit as well. Um, trying to carry all this down, Emma Jane, so I don't have to come back up. And your baby, you and your baby as well. Um, I'm doing two giveaways because I messed up on that giveaway. I made it a little bit confusing for people. So um, I'm going to do two, two gifts for that one giveaway. Right. I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of this together. It's beautiful. Beautiful day. Day is it? Wednesday, yes. Wednesday morning. Early, early, because I woke up early this morning. I didn't sleep for a while. 
But anyway, here we go. So this is my garden room. Or as Russ calls it, the insane asylum. <laughs> here we go, Emma Jane. Are you coming in here with Mummy today? Yeah. There's a new carry cot there. All been nicely cleaned out. You're going to wait here a minute then? I'll just go back up and get the other bits and pieces. Yeah. Good girl. She's going to wait there a minute. I'm going to go and get the others. And if I come down here, it has a, a, a funny smell because I've got rosemary scent in there, a diffuser, because rosemary is good for keeping away spiders, apparently. So I have rosemary down in the guest room. Down there, because we leave the windows open down there. And rosemary... Oh, my little boy. <laughs> and rosemary down there. Down in the hillside, yeah. There we go. Right, Mum's going down the garden, Millie. Okay. She probably won't come down. You don't need to look at the floor, but it's just, I don't know why. <laughs> it's down on the floor. Anyway, so I'll just shut the door up a little bit. It's mild actually I mean I could sit outside and have my coffee you coming down the garden you coming down the garden you coming she don't really like being in hillside she don't really like much things now to be honest she struggles when she's out on a walk she likes being at home she likes being with her family that's what I mean not that she doesn't like anything um I need to put some food on the bird feeder as well there we go well hello there coffee in the chat oh emma jane you are a good girl just waiting there um i'll put my drink there for a minute been painting and things um little painting new family to hillside which is the High Branch family, and they've got this this new house. This is the High Branch family. This is Mum, Dad, one of the children, and another of the children over there. And this is Bert. Oh, we've got a fly in here, I think. Now I didn't put my screen down quick enough. Come on, Mr. Fly, out you go. You know you want to pass it. <laughs> he heard me. Put my fly screen on. I'm going to shut the door. Change my slippers. And uh, we can do our coffee and a chat. Well, here we are. <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> As a gift. He was a gift. From um, a lovely lady in uh, America. She's never painted before. She's not an artist. She just felt she wanted to paint me that as a gift. Um, let's wax a bit of heating on. The heating down. So the heating is. We do have heating down here. It only comes on when the temperature. Um, gets to minus degrees I think so that nothing in here goes ridiculously I don't want it all to go really really hot and then really really cold really really hot really really cold so it's like a maintained temperature if you like because then that's how things get damaged isn't it so here we are okay yeah so what I was saying was yeah you can play with that you can play with them yep she wants to play with the Sylvanians, but I've got some um, woodsies, which is a Sylvanian knockoff, um, I think. She's, oh, you found that little baby. You found a little baby from Auntie Amy. I was just painting this week um, a little crib for it. So 
Amy is the lady that is going to um, retouch up Frankie. And she's painting this crib. It's really rough wood, so, and it's a bit of a squeeze. But at least it's going to have somewhere to rock. <laughs> oh, sorry, you were playing with it, weren't you? Okay. Um, yes, so I am, um, I'm not having a go at anybody. Because that's just not in me. It might have been 20 years ago, but it's definitely not anymore. I've mellowed so much. I was always came out fighting, very aggressive. Now, I understand a lot of things today, why people are so aggressive, because you probably grew up in an aggressive household like me, and you always had to protect yourself. And then there's, but then what happens is your body thinks that the majority of life is a threat. <laughs> Um, and so you become in protective zone all the time, which is basically what I was in my twenties. Well, throughout my entire life until I got maybe about 10 years ago when I started my really, really good therapy, no more than that. Now I'm 55, 40, I started my really good therapy after I reported everything to the police. So, um, what happens is there is fight, flight, or freeze. I mean, there's that you can add more onto them. There are more things, but years ago there was only fight or flight. So when you came across something that was um, attacking you, your your brain automatically went to fight or freeze. Uh, no, fight or flight. Sorry, fight or flight. So run away or have a fight. That was me so much. Um, but now I'm in a freeze. So when I was a kid and she was attacking, gradually what you did is you learned to just be quiet and not say anything. Keep your face down because I only had to like look at my, my brother. Who's ha I, I grew up with two, a half brother and a half sister. They were her children. I only had to look at them and she would deem that as something and I'd get a smack in the face um I remember once being on the floor with my little brother he's four years younger than me and we were coloring in and uh, we were laughing about our coloring in we had these massive coloring books they were awesome and um she came along kicked my face and told me I'm not allowed to talk to him I you know it's just stuff like that so I find myself in a lot of freeze when I'm on my own which is really weird you would think that being around people um, is freeze. But actually, being at home for me is freeze. It's really hard to get me, and it's not called, un, it's not a, under motivation. But sometimes, because I spent, because my life was so horrendous, and all my learning in my brain as done at that horrendous time because it is as a child my I am kind of like stuck in zones in different zones hence why I have multiple personality disorder because I my brain could only cope with what was going on at that time so it had to create an alternative to deal with what was going on at the time okay so Caroline who is the real 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 Caroline is pushed right down and not very often comes out and definitely Tuesdays are counselling day. So those days are a bit more difficult for me. And then it depends on what we're talking. It could be days that follow too. So I do spend, like I say, um, even though you might think I'm real social, I meet up with a lot of people. And because you see me so much on the screen, you feel like you know me because to you, it's like, Maybe you could be sitting down, having a cup of coffee with me, talking to me about life. And to you, that is what, you know, that that is us having a relationship. Whereas in actual fact, I don't really know you. I don't know most of you. I don't even know what you look like. So when I meet you for the first time, it is quite nerve wracking um, for you and for me. And I remember Sarah has been the only person that said to me, um, it must be so scary for you meeting people because I know what you look like, but you don't know what I'm like. You don't know what I look like. 
I can make assumptions about you because I see you on the screen. And you know, that is so true. That is so true. Um, it is so hard. I love meeting you all. I really do. And I love the fact that you come and say hello to me um, at, at the shows and things. And I, I just wish I wasn't like videoing. I want to video because I love the videos myself and looking back at them and be like, oh, I wish I'd bought that. Oh, Caroline, you should have got that. Oh, yeah. I remember that baby. Who's that? And so I like videoing them for myself. But um, because I'm always looking around, I'm always talking to people. I don't have a lot of time for like really nice one to one talking. Or you might see me sat down talking with somebody else and think, oh, I can't go and interrupt. If you see that at the doll shows, come and flip and interrupt. Reborn mummies are always welcome. And daddies are always welcome. Um, anyway, yeah, so you might think that I'm really sociable. Um, my family will know that I really struggle. And so sometimes I even struggle to go out of the house, to get off the sofa. There is no threat to me in my house. I am completely on my own. But I have a, a real, I have to have a real talk to myself about even moving from the sofa. And what a blessing this room is for me. And what a blessing is my family. Um, because I sometimes, you know, I still think, what am I doing here? You know, what am I giving to anybody else? And I know that I can get a load of comments saying, you know, you're so lovely, yada, yada, yada. And I frankly follows. But you can't help that feelings that were there when you were younger and I survived all of that I don't know why I don't know I do know how because of the Lord but I've no idea why and I probably will never know until I get to heaven and he goes well you survived because I wanted you to be able to talk to that person about so and so and to teach those adults to go back to university and be give them wonderful careers and help help them I mean on their way to getting wonderful careers and jobs and yada 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 and also, I wanted you to have your children. Yada, yada, yada. You know, you never know. We, I don't know God's plan. Only he knows it. And I'm sure I'll get a running commentary all about what I did and what I didn't do according to his plan when I get there. <laughs> well, I see. Oh, I talk to the Lord all the time. Um, yeah, so it is hard. Um, it is really, really hard. And that's why I come on YouTube. So that is what, so the reason I very first started YouTube was because friends, I was starting to follow people all over the world on YouTube and starting to chat with them. And they'd be like, oh, set up a YouTube to Caroline so we can see your baby. Set up a YouTube, we want to see you. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> yada, yada, yada seems to be the word of the day. And um, I set some light in here. Ta da! You can't see it, but I can. It's a little, my little tree of lights there. Um, and so I did. That's how I all. That's how I started. It'd probably be good to do a reaction video, won't it? Of my very first like times of like talking. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so funny. Anyway, so. That's why, so, and now YouTube is a great hobby for me. It's not my life. I don't get money. I don't get paid from it. Um, it's a hobby. And it's something, another thing I can do to keep myself distracted. And having my Reborns around is another brilliant distraction. As well as, you know, they look cute. I don't have to change them every day. I don't have to get up in the night to feed them. I can basically do what I want with them, you know. People, some people think I don't realise they're dolls, and I do. <laughs> I know I'm crazy, but, you know, there are limits to the craziness. <laughs> so, with that being said, this morning I got a message from somebody who I've been internet friends with for a very long time, and um, it really upset me, actually. And I'm sure it's upset her. And it was said that because it, it, the message is because you didn't reply to my comments on your video, 
I have had some nasty, vile, disgusting comments. And I will be going back and removing all of my comments from your videos. So how would you feel about that? Because I know my history. I felt attacked straight away because it was because you didn't reply to, my, to the comments. And I was just like, it is so bloody hard for me to reply to your comments. I love, I read your comments. I read every single one. But it is so hard for me to respond to them because I have PTSD from being in a working environment where my boss, while I was teaching, throughout the day, I'd be teaching all day long, my boss from her bed would be emailing me because she had um, OCD, found it really hard to get out of bed because all her OCDs would start, um, which I understood. She would message me throughout the day wanting answers to questions and I didn't answer her questions till the end of my teaching day or during my lunch hour or my break because I was teaching. Um, and unless I gave them like group work or whatever, and we didn't work, we, I this was outreach education. So there weren't tons, I couldn't send them to the computer room. I couldn't send them to the library so I could work. I had to provide all of the resources for every single lesson I taught is an adult education working for the council. So I used to trundle in with me trolleys. I had a massive desk at home full of all my books. Um, and But she expected me to answer every single email individually. Because what I was starting to do was email her at the end of my day and answer all her questions. But no, she couldn't cope with that. And so I and so anyway, it ended up we had a big meeting. Oh, it was horrendous. It was horrendous. Uh, now even now talking about it, it makes me feel sick to my stomach. It was just constant, constant aggro, constant. It was, it was really horrendous. And like if she you know, that was the thing that irritated me if she, because I knew she had OCD and I didn't know how to help. I didn't know what to do to help the situation and um, eventually her boss had to come in and we had to have a meet, mediate and I just, I just, I understood but I just couldn't cope with that and it was just so hard and anyway I carried on. She went and got a, a job in a different department and I carried on working and um, it was went on, for, it was years, it wasn't just like you know a few months was sorted it was years and, and, and I just I just I'd never known anything like it so this is why I find it hard to re respond to texts to respond to um, emails to respond to comments to respond to your messages on Instagram messages on uh, Facebook um, even to FaceTime is really, really difficult to me unless I really, really, really know you. And Sheena will tell you that. Sheena will tell you that it's only probably been in the last year that I've really been able to um, get over it. Because I want to. It is, a, it is a hurdle that is too big for me to get over sometimes. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. And I just have to accept that. So anyway, I haven't read the comments. Then I and I said, "What video is it?" You know, that was like a real mean thing to say. I think to me, without saying, Caroline, someone's left some really shitty messages. And I mean, maybe you know, she wasn't feeling like messaging me like that either. Do you know what I mean? I, this is how I feel. She should have replied. And yeah, I don't know her, and so I shouldn't expect that either. Um, so I went. She told me what video. I went and had a look. And the comments were absolutely vile. I removed all the comments. And I really did apologise. And I feel like I've really apologised. And I am so sorry that you read, had to read those comments. And I, you know. But then it, part of me is like, why do I have to apologise? Okay, I'm the, I am the YouTube channel owner. But I am not responsible for what people leave. Messages or the comments that people leave. I mean... I expect to get somebody to message me and say these comments have been left. 
what you're going to do about it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Can you, or what are you going to do? About it? Can you do something about it? Because at the end of the day, we are all responsible for being online. We are all responsible for monitoring our own, um, our own way of looking at things online. So I cannot stop people from making, getting these bots and making stupid, stupid comments. And I do delete them if I see any. I mean, we haven't had any hello for a long time, unless any of you have, have just gone ahead and done your due diligence and just delete report, delete report or report. They delete them as soon as you report them. Um, and I'm so sorry, I've got such a banging headache and I feel so deflated that um, I've read too much into it because the the um comment the message was because i didn't respond to comment c and that picked up on me because i know how hard it is for me to respond to comments i know how much people like comments being responded to and then i think oh god is it even worth it i don't want to upset anybody is it even like worth it <laughs> i don't want to upset anybody she didn't want to upset me and but we are both upset. <laughs> but anyway, you've just got to move on, haven't you? And I just feel sick to my stomach, and I'm sure she does right now, especially after reading them. They were vile. But as these bots, they just do this, and they're looking to scam people. They're looking to engage with you to get you to even respond to them, so you shouldn't even respond to them. Get them all over um, Facebook, particularly one reborn artist, um that i follow isn't is it cozy cradle sarah if you're watching i think it's cozy cradle i don't think sarah will comment anyway she doesn't have she doesn't comment um but she'll message me probably and say it is and i always just delete and report straight away because they are vile too and there's always like people trying to sell you reborns that are like scam websites and that definitely don't go for any of that if you're looking for a reborn, go on a bona fide page. So if you're going to go on Facebook, go on The Doll Show. Get to know people. Get to know artists. Get to know what people see and that and what people think. Ask questions. Don't think you can get a blooming decent reborn like Emma Jane for 80 quid. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Because the kits are more than that. anyway so i just want to say that if you do see any comments on my page on my facebook um on my youtube i am really sorry i urge you urge you to report and delete that's what i urge you to do okay and know that the creators i mean any youtube channel we don't want that we do not want that on our page. We don't want that as part of our community. We're definitely not in for that. Um, it could be somebody that is going after Anne. So Anne in Canada has been victim of a vicious campaign for many years on um, youtube absolutely vicious campaign because bullies like company don't they because it makes them feel like big and big and brave and if you see them on their own in public they wouldn't say boo to you hey they'd probably stand there and try and stand their ground but they wouldn't stand for very long um so bullies like company and it's the way to do it is to not engage but if you've got somebody like Anne who's got Asperger's autism they will never understand it and they will always want to try and figure out what's going on and so this person has been subject this week to those vile comments also was uh, mistaken for Anne and received a few shitty comments and I addressed that. And I think that was last year or the year before. I don't think these comments that she received this time <coughs> are in any way related to Anne in Canada. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
like people attacking her. I just think they're bots and they just leech and they just leech on. They're just bots and they just leech onto things and if they can do it and they're, what they're trying to do is just get a response, a response, a response. You've just got to delete. I'm so tired now because like these stressful things make me tired and that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Anyway, take a sip of coffee, take a sip of your drink everyone, we're going to move on. So next weekend, <laughs> moving along, next weekend is Easter. Now I won't be home for Easter. I'm going to Ireland to see my middle daughter. So I won't be here. Um, Grumpy's going to be here looking after the kids and things, you know, because they need looking after. I haven't decided yet if I'm taking anybody with me. Um, I've taken my reborns on a plane before. So it's not that. It's just whether I want the aggro. So I think Annie does have no no um weight. She has a weight in her butt, but they can easily tell what that is. It's it's the weight in the heads they don't like for some reason. So I could take a small one. I was thinking of taking um James or Sarah. So James is my Gucci's dog. Sarah is my Miley. Um, so I was t thinking about taking them and then I've got to take, make sure. So if you do, if I do that, I've got to make sure I take a clip, uh, one of those cable tie because they probably want to cut the head off, take the inside out and swab it. And I just don't know if I want to go through that. I mean, I, I, it doesn't bother me taking them at all. <laughs> I'm not worried about taking them on the plane or taking them to my daughters not worried about that in the least but I just don't know if I can be arsed dealing with that if that makes sense <laughs> it's not quite so bad because I'm only going from England to Ireland and then back again so it's not too bad I mean you don't even need a passport you can go over with a driving license um I don't know we'll see we'll see so what I'm basically saying is there won't be any upload for Easter this year. There might be videos next week of activities leading up to Easter. We've already painted the um, the Easter shapes that were sent in the box by Auntie Wendy. We've already painted those shapes. Um, I will show you those. Um, we've got Frankie wants to put up the um, she don't break up till Friday put up the uh, bunting I might do that this weekend then um and then there were some coloring ins weren't there some like card coloring ins I believe oh and some bags yes because they will yeah I might have to <laughs> I think I'm going to fill up the bags and I'm going on Thursday you see Thursday and then it's Good Friday and I'm not sure I'll have a chance to film anything decent we'll see we'll see what occurs we will see what occurs folks okay I just want to like just put that into it out into the world there but there are um Easter videos so what I'll do in the community tab is um just link to those videos um over Easter so you could like maybe watch the old ones um, first time I've gone but I really want to see her sooner rather than later I haven't seen her since December so I'm gonna do that um yeah I've washed the pram so here so I want to get that up on its um upon the st upon the wheels so we can look at that I've ordered I ordered somebody suggested a white frame I think that was another Anne but you suggested um not a frame a white frill well i've ordered a right a white frill and i think that'll be here tomorrow yeah thursday so hopefully by the weekend we can see that like all set up i don't have a mattress for it so what i'm going to do is look at my other two um carry cots and see if there is a mattress in one of those um 
I need to get some foam cut to size. The reason I keep looking is because it's down here. I'm sat in my chair. There it is down there. So, yeah, I'll get to that. Sorry if you keep looking at me nostril. Because <laughs> you left back on the stand. <laughs> oh, yeah, yesterday. Oh, I don't know where gone. Yesterday, I managed to find in a charity shop a, um, not in a charity shop, We Sell For You. Did I get it in We Sell For You, a charity shop? I got it in We Sell For You. Um, yesterday, I dropped off my Cassato push chair, the one I had with the, is it mermaids on or flamingos or something? Um, and they're going to sell that. We Sell For You is um, a secondhand um, shop here um in somerset near us it's a community payback and then people my viewers call it the shop with the pink and blue boxes because <laughs> they have all boy stuff in blue girl stuff in pink okay we're still traditional around here um so yeah i, I took the cassato pram in because they're going to sell that for me they have a much bigger reach than me um a a locally so they're going to do that so while i was there i had a look <laughs> of course I'll link, if I remember, I'll link a couple of videos. Let me just get, um, let me just get my a pen and my notepad. So I can remember. I've also had a link, I think, to video to add to the video I've previously done. I can't remember what that is. Oh, come on, Mr. Penwork. Right, let's link to, um, we sell for you. Oh, I know what it was. I wanted to link. I did the vintage. In the vintage video that I just did, I said I'd link to when I picked up the fruit, the mamas and papas fruit. Mamas and papas fruit link. I have to write these things down because I'm so forgetful. Link to that one in the We Sell For You. In the vintage video, link to the mamas and papas. And I thought just now, oh, I could link that as well. Maybe I'll link the video that I did with Emma Jane, Frankie and Annie, which is... Um, I talked a bit about, well, I talked seriously about my therapy, so that will be, I need a trigger warning for that as well. Um, therapy, Annie, Frankie, and why they are, um, I have a lot more therapy specials, Emma Jane. So that may help you to understand maybe me a bit more. I don't know. I always think self-awareness is really good as well. Um, self-awareness, being aware of ourselves and how we influence other people. Um, yeah, now I'm going to show you what I do. Um, the giveaways. I feel like I need to wipe off my um, tablet because it's probably a bit fingerprints on it, I should think. So, yeah, we so we did a giveaway on Mothering Sunday. And the deadline was the... Oops. The deadline was um, 17th of March. So today, I think it's the 20th. Oh, it's the 1st of spring today, isn't it? It's the 20th today. Um, and so, yeah, it's the first day of spring. Hallelujah. I felt a bit milder, so that's good. Right, there we go. I don't know what the cloth down to dry off. Oh, painting cloth. Oops, I've got this. Oh, we've got a bit of, a bit of kitchen roll instead. There we go. So, so this was the giveaway. This was what I had for the giveaway. It was 
a brand new um, all-in-one um, baby grow from George, a pre-loved lovey, and a brand new honeybug gummy, and chocolates, coffee, and tea. Now I'm going to add some Easter chocolate to this because I did get this is vegan chocolate, and um, I will add some ordinary, some something eatery to it as well. Um, before you get that now because i messed up on that video and i said the actual answer was denise's pre-loved baby boutique or you could put pre-love together denise's pre-loved baby boutique which was four words while i'm there talking about it even though i had to like knew what i was going to do in my head i said it's got three words and it's just like no it doesn't caroline it has five i think i said it's either got four or three and it doesn't. It has four or five. So completely confuse every single person that answered. Oh my god. Idiot. Right. So I thought, oh my goodness, Caroline, I need to do um something else. I need to make it a giveaway for two. So, what we have got are, oh god, they've come out of packaging, haven't they? Two brand new dummies. This was a pack of four. And I, they were exactly the same. So, there were two mint green ones and two white ones. So, I am, um, only needed the two, so I don't need those. So, it's those. And it, it is this. Organic cotton baby hat and bib i also have this set it's a little rocking horse bib i don't want to take it out and unfold it because i'm rubbish at folding it back into the box so it's a little bib and a little hat Okay, I don't know what age it is. I bought one. I bought two, so I bought one for myself as well. Um, might say on the back. So that is the other giveaway prize, along with. Hang on a minute. Let's get it all in there. Okay. Along with somebody made a comment saying, Oh my god, you put um vegan chocolate, thank you so much. So many people don't think about that. But can you might be an idea to think about dairy free? Now I've had to go dairy free. I don't know if any of you remember I have really real bad problems with my bowel um intestine since last July, really bad. And so it would seem that I'm lactose intolerant. So I am off dairy for a bit. So I got this chocolate bar and it says vegan and free from dairy, gluten, eggs and nuts. I hope that works. The person that commented that said, have a look in your free from section, see if you can find. So I've got that one as well. And what I will do is add in um, like some Easter bunnies or something like that, Malteser ones or something as well in both packs. And then you have also got your coffee and your tea, coffee in there, coffee bag, tea bag, and then a nighttime flavour tea. Now it's um, with these, you don't need to add milk or sugar, but you can if you want to, but I don't. Um, I just, pucker are just really good. I just like pucker because they, the, the flavour lasts. You know, you get some flavoured teas. And it's more smell than flavour. So I hope that helps. I'm so sorry I messed up on that. <laughs> when I started reading the comments, I was like, oh, Caroline, you have totally messed up. And that's why I then put up in a community tab. Um, please go back and check your responses. <laughs> and then I thought, Caroline, you're just going to have to just do a double giveaway. <laughs> So <clears throat> what I do, when I do that, I then go back to my video 
I was gonna, you know, I normally would do all this, wouldn't I, before you start? But what I do then, I just want to show you is I go back to the video and then uh find me. Find me. Don't need to find. No, it's not on that one. Um videos here we go which one was it ah reborn's mum's mothering sunday that was the one with annie on the front and so um let me put, put down there and then i can get this to rest on that's on there i put that okay so i've turned you round and then what I do is I, I clean my tablet off. I go down all of the comments. Oh, my head. I just shaved my head then. And then I just write number one. Rochelle. So then I just carry on going down like this. Okay, so there we go. That took 12 minutes, but you'll see that speeded up. So these are all the names of you all. And now we have to open the app. No, just on Google. No, it's not an app. It's just on Google. Excuse me. See, it's our state on the time. Um... Da, 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 da. Here we go. Uh, what is it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure you want to read my history. Might have just caught a glimpse of it. <laughs> it's nothing disastrous, just uh, here we go. Number we all pick our oh, how do you make it big? There we go. So this is the one we use. Remember, we don't try not to touch anything on the bottom. So 1 to 58. We have got... So this is for prize number one, which is of the Baby Grow. We've got 38 people to mark. I love reading your names. <laughs> I just want to say, I think it is Ellie. Was it an Ellie? Oh, I don't think you answer you. I don't think you entered the question, but I think it was you that <clears throat> said about the dairy. So thank you for that. I took that on board. Bella, your name always makes me laugh. Bella's buggy bags <laughs> and hamster one hundred. <laughs> see a few on here that we haven't seen for a while Ray rainbow riches is on facebook she makes stuff for your reborns she makes like the little rompers and um adds the vinyl to things like bibs and hats and baby grows and all that she is Ray rainbow riches on facebook she also has a youtube um ros this is a lady that i've met a few times 
Uh, Bonnie, nice to see you. She says she's a silent watcher, but thought she'd partake this time. And uh, nice to see you, Deirdre. Back, Deirdre's been really poorly. She was very, very busy in the reborn community, and um, at the start, and then her lupus has just developed, and she's got no end of issues now. So it's nice to see you there. Anyway, we have got thirty-eight. So this is going to be for the um the baby grow okay the one with the baby grow who's it gonna be who's it gonna be who is it gonna be diddly, 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 diddly. number five who's no oh sam stone you are number five so where's my pen let me just write yeah. So Sam gets the baby grow. And now we are playing for the hat and bib set. Done. Right. So we still got 38. Never know, Sam, you could win both. <laughs> So I just put in an extra because I made that mistake. So who's it going to be now? <gasps> no. <laughs> what did I say, Sam? Oh, my God. I am going to so going to do that again, Sam. All right. I hope you don't mind. I probably should remove the choice then, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let's see. If it comes up a third time, I will remove you some. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was so funny. Oh, no. Phew. Who is it? Number 27. Who is number 27? Mo. Mo, you've won before. Well done, Mo. So we got Mo is going to have the little hat, hat and bib set. Oh, I'm writing your name, Mo. Hat and bib. Hat and bib. Hate it says bib set. God. Hat and bib set. So there we go. Oh, well, that was funny, wasn't it, Sam? I hope you don't mind. I'm sure she won't. I'm sure she won't. Um, oh, see what level I am playing my game. <laughs> Let's put that to one side now. So there we go. That is the giveaways done. We've got them done. Thank you very much, everybody who entered. And um, yeah, let's sort that out in a bit. And I will show you a bit more of my collections. Because um. I think I brought you down here really quickly, didn't I, the other day, and just showed you how I sort of set things up new. Um, and I want to look for these push chairs, don't I? Oh yeah, the little. So the clown stuff that um Henry had, those little booties and that normally belong in here. Henry was wearing that in the vintage video, so it normally stays in this like vintage basket here. Oh, I need that. This is what I took. I measured some string so I could go online and um, order foam cut to size. So this is my little bit of collections up here. And up here. Dangly. Dangly toys. So I narrowed down the Cindy stuff a bit and then I got my records, Gabe, and then there's Patty and my 1940s doll. Now Frozen Fan asked me if you could see in this book. You can see in this book. My Secret War Diary. History of the Second World War by Foss Lossie Albright. My bestest, most secret treasures. 
So, Flossies, Dad goes to war. You know what I can hear? A woodpecker. And this is her diary of what happened when she went uh, uh, of that time. It's absolutely, we got this letter from him today. I wasn't told, he wasn't told I'd been poorly of account of not worrying him. I just love all of these. So there you go, Frozen Fan. I'd get to it eventually. You did ask me to look in it a while ago. It's absolutely a wonderful, wonderful book. So I love it. Here it is. I can't remember where I bought it. I didn't get it online. I think I bought it like at a National Trust place, something like that. Now there's the pram that I just got and washed. And behind here are the other two pram bodies that I'm going to look at and see if they've got a, a mattress. The mattresses back then were just in plastic. <laughs> And then that's the frame for it. That's a Wayfarer frame there. So I'm going to have a look at that. Now the weather's getting brighter. I can take this one up and get this washed off. I don't look very keen on that fur. I got this fur from somewhere different. And it's just not very good at shedding. <laughs> And then I've got my Sylvanians. Oh, I wanted to show you. I've got another book like that. Here it is. Lizzie Bennett's Diary. I just get that one off of there. I don't want to break anything. This is another book. Inspired by Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Another book that's kind of in that thing. It's got lots of little little things to open. Look at it. And there is another book that goes with the one I showed you before. I don't have it. A Personal View by Elizabeth Darcy. <laughs> Just another amazing, amazing book. <laughs> I just love it. So that is, I got that one at a National Trust. I actually remember getting that one. But I've had them all so long. So I got that one at a National Trust place. I was there, Royal Nursemaid, The Secret Garden, Story of Heidi, Mummy Time. I think Sheena got me that book, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Just show you a little bit in here. And then my my verse. God is within her, she will not fail. Be still and know that I am God. I think about you I think about you always, Lord. Thank you for all that you do. But yeah, I love all sorts of wonderfulness. All around. <laughs> yeah, so currently, currently work is afoot on organising the High Branch family's um, building. So I completely painted it. And it's dark green on the top, dark green on the ceiling here. But I'm going to put some leaves and things on the ceiling. Um, I did this. It's like it's had a complete makeover. Dad collects um, antiques. So there will be some antiques and things going in here. And mum loves to bake. So she's going to be making cakes and things. And then these guys are getting to know each other over here. 
<laughs> I'm just crazy, 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 crazy. There we go. I know you didn't see um, very, very much of Emma Jane in this video, but you don't usually, when I do a coffee and a chat, see much of the reborns. Um, and I particularly didn't want to like oh, really taking note of what I was saying at the start. But um, anyway, if Sam and Mo can contact me, both contact me. I don't need to write down where you need to contact me because they both know. Um, and um, so if anybody doesn't know, we are on Instagram as Caroline Reborn Knight and Facebook as Caroline Reborn Knight. If you find me on Facebook, on my personal Facebook, I don't accept requests. Okay, I don't want anybody to be upset about that. But you can always chat to me in the comments here. And I try and chat back in the comments on Facebook and in the comments on Instagram. And I do read them. I just really have a dilemma about answering. And I hope that makes sense. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Say bye, everybody. Bye. We'll probably be crafting in the next video, I think. I don't know. I've got no, um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm out tomorrow. A Friday, we have Jack to sleep over. So I'm not sure how this weekend's going to pan out because I get very tired after having that wee man. Hopefully I can film something Friday morning so that I get out. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I don't like you waiting too long. That was the light I switched on when you saw me. Anyway, I love it. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.